Hi, this is Ron Reich, and today I want to share with you three secrets to developing superhuman focus. This is very, very important for you if you're looking to grow and scale a business, because really your personal productivity, your personal self-effectiveness, your ability to get things done and not be distracted, it really is probably the most important thing when it comes to really, really growing a business. And the truth of the matter is that, is that most entrepreneurs, even relatively high-performing entrepreneurs, they're actually only doing about an hour to two hours of actual focus work per day. So if you can do more than that, like if you can do two, three hours of focus, more, focus work per day or even more, that in and of itself is going to really, really allow you to grow your business. So how can you become more focused and less distracted? Well, I'm gonna give you three secrets on how to do it right now. So the first thing that I encourage you to adopt is what I call digital intermittent fasting. This is one of my true secrets that has allowed me as well as many of my clients to reach next levels of focused and productivity. I call it the digital intermittent fasting. If you're watching this, you might be familiar with this idea of intermittent fasting, which is what they talk about in, uh, in health context, which typically the way it's really taught now and how most people think about it, it's really about skipping breakfast. What, and I'm not an expert on this topic, but with those who uh, teach this, what they encourage you to do is to not eat breakfast. So typically you might have your first meal, let's say at, at 12, uh, 12 p.m. and then have like a, maybe like a, a six hour window where you're gonna consume all your calories for that day. So you might have breakfast or your first meal, whatever you wanna call it, at 12 p.m. And then you might have your final meal, let's say at 5, 6 p.m., your dinner, and then go from, let's say, 6 p.m. till 12 p.m. The, the following day. So that's an 18 hour uh, window where you're not consuming, where you're not consuming calories. What I encourage you to do is adopt that same attitude for your digital consumption of technology. And really what we're talking about here is I'm talking about distracting inputs. I'm talking specifically about input from other people, from other sources outside of typically your own, your own brain. So this would include really the big culprits are social media, things like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Most, most people spend waste way too much time on uh, these different uh, apps. Also, the, uh, the other big one is email. These really social media and email for entrepreneurs, those are the two big ones. For extra credit, I might need to consider not, um, not wasting time watching YouTube videos, reading news sites, all, all, the, all these kinds of things actually included. So the idea here is before noon, let's say, rule is no inputs, no social media, no YouTube, no email. And then once you're done with your work day, at let's say 6 p.m., say same thing. Definitely no social media, no email, things that are really work-related work, work because um, what this does is this trains your brain to be in a more focused state as, as your default state. This is what Cal Newport talks about in his great book, Deep Work. So if you do this, it's gonna be hard, but you can do it. And, and the thing I would say just to start with, remember, during that period of 12 to noon, Go ahead, you know, if you're just getting started with this, go ahead, spend some time on social media, you know, check email, do those kinds of things, but just use that strategically and just realize that you're not gonna be doing it throughout the day. So this itself is going to make you, two things are gonna happen. You're gonna be more productive because again, if you're not, just by definition, if you're not checking social media and, and being attached to email in those morning hours especially, and you give your, uh, that's going to make you, that's gonna make you more productive because you're gonna be focused on work and you're not gonna be distracted. And the second thing is your brain is going to be wired to be more focused, to be more productive. There's this idea of attention residue, which is essentially that once we, if we check something on social media and then we go to like go back to our work, our brain still has a little bit of that, that input. It's, it's still there a little bit. You know, it's just like, for example, like when you, when you watch a movie and then when you're sleeping, you might still kind of be thinking about that movie. The same thing happens all the time with our, with our digital devices. So, that is a digital intermittent fast. Second thing I'll, I'm gonna encourage you to do is really break up with your cell phone. I mean, so many people, it's, uh, it's really a problem with, with, uh, with our society. I want, I'm not gonna get into all the details, 
But there's no reason, um, and I'll just, again, I, my rule I would encourage you really is I personally keep my phone off like 99% of the time. I actually haven't turned my phone on in, in, about, in about a week. Uh, I, this, I'm a little extreme, so you do not have to do that. But what I'm telling you is that you want to get into the habit, uh, at least when you're working to start with, do not have your phone out of sight and out of mind while you're working. There's no reason why when you're working, you need to have your phone next to you. If you're getting push notifications, you're gonna answer it and that's gonna get you distracted. But also there's just a, there's a little bit of kind of, um, there's this feeling, like even if your phone is just on the table next to you while you're working, it still is kind of part of you. It's, it's, it still kind of has part of your attention. So again, by getting the habit of uh, keeping your phone away from you, that's going to make you more productive. So break up with your phone is uh, the second thing. And the third thing is something that you um, might be familiar with is really just working in focused spurts. So really what you want to be doing is you want to be working in focused sessions. I actually use an old school uh, kitchen timer and I typically work in 90 minute sessions. Again, without distractions, just focusing on my important work and then I'm rocking, rocking and rolling. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Again, I work in 90 minute sessions typically, typically 90 minute to two hour sessions. And if you're just getting started with this, you don't need to be doing a 90 minute session. I would actually encourage you to build up to that. You might be familiar with the Pomodoro technique, which essentially is like 25 minutes on, do a five minute break, then do another 25 minutes. That's a great place to, to start. Uh, back when I, back quite a few years ago when I started doing this, I worked in 50 to 55 minute sessions, and then I eventually built up to um, 60 minute sessions. So again, if you do these, so that's, that's that. If you do, um, if you work in focused sessions and break up with your phone and adopt this digital intermittent fast, I promise you, you're going to literally exponentially double, possibly triple your, your productivity, your, your creative output, what you're putting out in the world, and it is going to be amazing. So. The three things, once again, are the digital intermittent fast, breaking up with your cell phone, and working in those focus spurts. Do these things and you will be unstoppable. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know which of these three do you think is you're most excited about adopting. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here to the channel, please subscribe. This is Ron Reich. I'll talk to you very soon.